Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. Did Our Lady say at Fatima that most souls go to hell because of sins of the flesh? What does this phrase mean? Is it theologically correct? That's what I'm going to look at in this video. So to begin with, it's Saint Jacinta who is attributed with the saying, most souls go to hell because of sins of the flesh. Sometimes you hear people saying, Our Lady at Fatima said that most people go to hell because of sins of the flesh. And I always correct people because Our Lady didn't say this at Fatima. She said this in Lisbon. Jacinta had visions of Our Lady after the apparitions at Fatima. And quite a few of these seem to have taken place while she was convalescing in an orphanage in Lisbon. She stayed in this orphanage, from what I can work out, about 10 days. She stayed there 10 days before she finally went to the children's hospital in Lisbon, had an operation and died shortly afterwards. Most of these messages were conveyed to the lady who was running the orphanage, a woman who kind of had set herself up as a nun. It's an interest, she's an interesting character and I'll be mentioning more about her later. Mother Godino. And the children all called her the godmother, their godmother, all the children who stayed in this orphanage. Okay, so she records, she writes down a lot of the sayings that Jacinta tells her while Jacinta is staying in her orphanage stroke convent type place in Lisbon. And so Jacinta says most souls go to hell because of sins of the flesh. Father Joaquin Mary Alonso, in his wonderful book on Fatima, Doctrine and Spirituality of the Message of Fatima, looks into this prophetic statement in a way that no one else does. Uh, he was able to spend some time with Sister Lucy as a grown woman and said to Sister Lucy, did Our Lady ever tell you of a particular type of sin that offended her more than any other? And she replies, no, Our Lady never did. But many people ask me this, and I had to say to them, no, Our Lady never said, never said particular sins that offended her. And then she adds, but I understand that Jacinta has said that sins of the flesh offend or lead souls to hell more than others. And Sister Lucy says that presumably Jacinta asked Our Lady about this when she was in Lisbon, when Our Lady appeared to her in Lisbon at the convent. And so Sister Lucy found this little statement of Jacinta to be quite reasonable and quite reliable, worthy of belief that most souls go to hell because of sins of the flesh. The same author, jo Father Joaquin Alonso, he also does a bit of investigative journalism back in Algostral and asks a great friend of Jacinta's mother, Benedetta. He asked Benedetta, what she thought about this. And Benedetta said that Jacinta, when she referred to sins of the flesh, she was not talking about sins against impurity, but rather the sins of eating meat on fast days. That was Jacinta's sins of the flesh. Okay, I don't think very that's very likely. But anyway, and neither did Father Alonso. He thought that actually, even if Jacinta didn't fully understand what was meant by sins of the flesh, the idea that most souls were going to hell because of eating meat on Friday, he does not find that very likely that Jacinta would have even had that in her mind. Okay, a tiny bit more on Mother Godino. Okay, so Mother Godino and the messages that she records from little Jacinta, they have become come under some scrutiny and I'll have to do another video on Mother Godino and all the stuff about her and the recordings that she takes down from Jacinta because some of the prophecies some of the utterances she attributes to Jacinta are kind of out there one of them in particular is way off and is clearly something that Mother Godino has invented it's all about Mother Godino being being chosen by Our Lady to found a new order, which just happened to be Mother Godino's firm intention anyway. So there's some doubt over some of the things that Mother Godino attributes to Jacinta. But the other great scholar of Fatima, Father Formigeo, he believed that this statement 
of Jacinta, most souls go to hell because of sins of the flesh, was a genuine one, and it's quite possible that he heard it himself because he came down to visit Jacinta when she was at that convent and also when she was in the hospital just before her operation. And so in his really early book about Fatima, he captures this saying, most souls go to hell because of sins of the flesh. So a lot of scholars think that in spite of the doubts over Mother Godino and some of the statements attributed to Jacinda during that period, this statement is reliable. Furthermore, the first apostolic letter, the first Episcopal letter on the message of Fatima, the letter in which the bishop approved the devotion to Our Lady of Fatima, which was in the 20s, he makes an allusion to the fact that most souls go to hell because of sins of the flesh, the idea that this is part of the message. So it seems from the earliest days it was taken that Jacinta had said this and it was a saying that genuinely went back to Jacinta thinking Our Lady said this to her. What does the Catholic Church say about this? What does our faith teach us? Well, we actually believe that sins of the flesh, they're mortal sins, but actually they're the mo not the most grievous of sins. Even if, according to St. Jacinta, most souls go to hell because of them. In the grand hierarchy of sins, the most serious sins are sins of spirit. You know, sins of pride, sins of envy. I've got a video about this, uh, about the seven deadly sins. And I talk about this a little bit more there. Those sins are actually more serious because they don't have any kickback any enjoyment attached to them they're purely perverted malicious sins of the flesh are what we call sins of weakness because the flesh due to concupiscence is orientated in that direction already and and so sins of the flesh they build on natural pleasure that the body should receive when it does certain things but it's a perversion an extension of these natural pleasures into an illicit manner whereas sins of pride sins of envy they just purely spir spiritually mal malicious they don't give you any natural pleasure at all they're just spiritually malicious so they're considered more grievous indeed satan is said to have fallen because of the sin of pride not because of some sin of lust lust and sensory pleasure sins are a lower degree of sin but why then would most souls go to hell because of them well even if they are not the most serious of sins, they are certainly the most prevalent among adults, among the mortal sins of adults. Of course, not going to Holy Mass on Sunday, that's a, that's a very frequently mentioned sin that many people commit. But the sin of the sixth and ninth commandment, the sins of the flesh, St. Alphonsus, it was his opinion that most souls go to hell because of these sins also. And it's probably because if you are not a Catholic, you're likely to have committed these sins and you are unlikely to have any means of being forgiven for them. You see, it's quite possible that someone could be culpably ignorant, sorry, invincibly ignorant about what is a true religion. You know, growing up, wherever, not being exposed to the truth of the Catholic faith. Perhaps they could be culpably, that is, invincibly ignorant about what the true religion is but when it comes to sins of the flesh pretty much every religion says certain sins are sins certain actions using the flesh are sins and so and so someone in another in a false religion who commits these sins they end up in the state of mortal sin and because they don't have confession they have no means of escaping from mortal sin I mean, they can attempt an act of perfect contrition, but if they don't know the true God, if they don't know about our Lord Jesus Christ who died out of love for them, I'm not sure that they can make an act of perfect contrition. It certainly seems, according to St. Jacinta of Fatima, very few people do make an act of perfect contrition. And so that's why most souls go to hell because of sins of the flesh. Because sins of the flesh are so prevalent, and most people who are in the false religions and in Protestantism, they don't have confession. 
They don't have a way of being forgiven for these sins of the flesh, and so they die in the state of mortal sin. And that's probably why, although they're not objectively the most serious of sins, they are the most prevalent and they're the trickiest to escape from. So perhaps that's why Jacinta had this prophetic statement that most souls go to hell because of sins of the flesh. And she's not talking about one or two souls. Jacinta, let's not forget, had, was given the vision of hell. And it was a vision of hell that completely shook her mind. From then on, she was obsessed with saving souls from hell. She saw souls falling into hell like snowflakes onto the ground, like leaves falling off the trees in autumn. She became obsessed with doing sacrifices to save souls from hell. And most souls, she said, were going to hell because of sins of the flesh. Okay, so what does that mean for us? I think what it means for us is that we need to be pure. We need to be really pure. And purity means having a heart, a heart that is singly orientated to God, a heart that is not divided between this world and serving Almighty God, a heart that is in love with Almighty God 100% and any other creature, any human, under God and in God. So if you're married, making sure that God is even before your spouse and that love of God is coming first and that even in the necessary parts of being married and the marital act, that even in that marital act, you don't get absorbed so much in carnal pleasure that your soul is dragged to things of this life. The soul is made for heaven, is made for eternity and even licit pleasures like the pleasures of a married couple they need to be very careful. Married couples need to be careful so that their soul is not dragged down and kept clinging to things of this life. But the soul is always flying up to Almighty God. The soul is freed from the incumbences of the fallen flesh and is able to fly up, to soar, to be with its spouse, its master, its Lord. It's probably the case that most souls go to hell because of sins of the flesh. Let's try and make sure that that isn't going to include us. Let's make sure that we are one of the few. We are some of the few that make it to heaven and are able to reign with our Blessed Mother, with Saint Jacinta, and with all those who persevere unto the end. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.